Um, welcome to a new problem. So this time we have uh, a man uh, and his son. So they're doing uh, what we call chin-ups. Okay, lifting, lifting their bodies up all the way up uh, from the ground. So they're going up and down. And then, you know, obviously his son has uh, shorter hands, maybe half his hands. And so what's happening here is that they have to lift themselves. The man has to lift uh, himself a distance of 0 0.40 meters. And so we want to find out, you know, how much work is done in, you know, how much work is done per kilogram in lifting in lifting himself up. And you can remember that uh, the man has a weight. So if he lifts himself up from this position up until that position, uh, the work done is going to be mgh. But we're interested in finding out, you know, the the work per kilogram. So how much work is done per kilogram? Okay, so work over mass. And that just means that you'll have to divide both sides by m. These two cancel out. So the work over the mass, which is the work per kilogram, is gh. G is 9.8 meters per second squared, and then the height is lifting himself is 0 0.40 meters. And it means that the man needs 3.92 joules per kilogram to lift himself up a distance of 0, 0.4 uh, 0 meters. In terms of percentages, you know, assume that um, the man is using up, you know, his muscles are using up 70 joules um, of work per kilogram of his muscles. Remember, he's using his muscles to uh, lift himself up. So this is 70 joules of work per kilogram. And you want to compare this to um, how much work he's doing per kilogram. So we want to see what's the, uh, this is part B. Part A, this was the answer to part A. Uh, the answer to part B is that the muscles are involved in the chin up. So the muscles are using 70 joules per kilogram. And that barely lifts him up a distance of 0 0.40 meters. So what percentage of his uh, body's mass do these muscles constitute? So um, uh, we're going to take the percent, this percentage, 3.92 uh, joules per kilogram. And that's the work done by the man per kilogram of body mass. And then compare that to the work done by the muscles, 70 joules per kilogram. And if you simplify that, uh, it's going to help us get the percentage of muscles, which happen to be 5.6%. If you uh, simplify that problem, we haven't talked about his son. Uh, we're seeing that there's certain muscles involved in generating about 70 joules of work per kilogram. And so, you know, what's the percentage of the body's weight uh, constitute these muscles? Uh, for his son, I'm going to do that in the second page. We have that. Um, his hands are short compared to his father. So this is the son. And um, that means he's going to lift himself half the distance, which happens to be uh, 0 0.20 uh, meters. So the work per kilogram that he does is still going to be mgh because remember um, uh, actually the work per kilogram the work itself is mgh the work he's doing to lift himself up because he's working against his weight 
uh, and to get the watt per kilogram, we have to divide by the mass. Uh, so his mass happens to be, um, uh, so we don't know what his mass is, but the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. And then multiply by the height that is moving, which is 0 0.2 meters. Remember, these two cancel out. And that gives us 2.8%, which is pretty much uh, um, not 2.8%. This one gives us 1.96 uh, joules per kilogram. And if you compare that to the amount of um, energy expended by his dad per kilogram, it, it's it's almost half of that. You know, so 1.96 uh, joules per kilogram. His muscles expand, so his muscles, the sun's muscles, expand 70 or rather 70 joules per kilogram. So his muscles expand uh, 70 joules per kilogram. And if you compare that to the amount of uh, work he does per kilogram on his body mass, uh, it's gonna be 1.96 joules per kilogram over 70 joules per kilogram <coughs> excuse me and that gives us 2.8 uh, percent in terms of his um, muscle percentage okay so this is this is the body mass uh, or percentage of his body mass uh, for his muscles. So his muscles constitute 2.8%. If we go back, his dad's muscles constitute 5.6%. Uh, uh, and the other question they're asking is, you know, uh, if you compare the dad and the son, um, so who's, who's going to use more joules per, per kilogram? So the son is only using... 1.96 joules per kilogram to lift himself up so the sun uh, uses 1.96 joules per kilogram uh, which is less is less than the father's 3.92 joules per kilogram uh, therefore we can conclude uh, based on logic, that it's easier for the sun to lift himself on chin-ups than uh, the father. Okay, so this is the last part of the problem. Thanks again for watching the videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to ask questions. And this is a follow-up of energy, you know, a son and a father comparing themselves, lifting themselves up. Uh, the muscles are involved, so we want to find out what's the uh, energy per kilogram or energy per, per unit mass um, of body mass ex expanded so 3.92 joules for the father and for the son it's 1.96 joules per kilogram uh the, the father 3.92 joules per kilogram and if you compare the son and the father you can see that the son can um you know why is it that children can do more chin-ups than adults and you can see that's the reason why i uh, hope you enjoy the video thanks and see you next time okay bye